Hi there, this is Wahid from the Arab Education Channel and welcome to ninth session of Design Pattern in C++ and Qt Framework. In this session, we are going to talk about Adapter Design Pattern. It's a structural design pattern and sometimes developers call it wrapper. Using this adapter, we can work with different objects that are not compatible in their interfaces. As the picture depicted here, we want to drive a car over a railway. So, by default, we cannot do this, but we create another uh, machine that let us to drive this car. So, adapter pattern is somehow do something like this for us. Let's take a look at another example. Imagine that you are creating a stock market monitoring application. The application downloads the stock data from multiple sources in XML format and then display nice looking charts and diagrams for the user. At some point, you decide to improve the app by integrating a small third-party analytics library. But there is a catch. The analytics library only works with data in JSON format. So, how we can handle this situation? It's very easy. We need to create an adapter. This is a special object that converts the interface of one object so that another object can understand it. An adapter wraps one of the objects to hide the complexity of conversion happening behind the scene. The wrapped object isn't even aware of the adapter. Adapter can not only convert data into various format, but can also help objects with different interfaces collaborate. For example, here we have our application that uh, gets data from different sources in XML format. There's, uh, these are core classes. Here, we create an XML to JSON adapter that receives XML data and call the analytics library with JSON format. Here, we hide the complexity of conversion inside this specific class, adapter class. We have two different ways to implement adapter patterns in our application, and this is directly depends on what programming languages you are using. If you use programming languages such as C-Sharp or Java and the other ones that support single inheritance, you need to use object adapter. And on the other hand, if you use other programming languages such as C++ that supports multiple inheritance, you can use class adapter. And we're going to talk about it in detail. So, for object adapter, this is our target class. For example, the class that receives data from XML format. And then we want to use another class that uh, uses a JSON object or JSON formats. We call it adaptee inside adapter pattern. Now we want to call adaptee.specific request instead of this request. So in our client code, we need to change some uh, codes from request to a specific request and also create instance from this adaptee class. But by using adapter, we create another class, adapter class that inherits from the target and we have also request uh, method inside this class. But this time, inside this request method, we're going to use or call a specific request from adaptee uh, object. We have uh, an object of this class inside adapter class. So client just uh, need to create an instance of target class and instantiate it using adapter class. And when it call request over this object inside the client, in fact, we are calling a specific request. It's a little bit maybe uh, confusing, but if we are going uh, to Qt Creator and create it in practice, you will see that it's very easy to use. It's just a wrapper class, nothing more. If your programming language support multiple inheritance languages such as C++ or Python, you can do something like this. Create an adapter class that inherit from both classes, existing class, the class inside your application right now, and the other class that is somehow incompatible with this one. And then, here inside the method class of adapter, first you need to convert the data from uh, the existing class to some format that this service class understand, and then call the service method, this method inside the service class, and pass the special data that converted recently to that method and return the result back to the client application. So, in this session, I'm going to use object adapter to create a, a sample for you. And then in the next session, we're going to see how we can make use of um, class adapters to handle uh, this kind of uh, situation in our application. Let's go to create creator and see what we can do when we're dealing with adapter design pattern. 
If you are new to this tutorial, I should tell you that I create a Qt widget application in Qt Creator and push it also to my GitHub repository so you can download it and work with code uh, on your local machine. And uh, we have a folder, a separate folder uh, for each session and put the file related to that design pattern that uh, we checked in that uh, session inside uh, this folder. For example, in the previous session, we talked about adapter pattern. Uh, object uh, adapter in fact and this session I'm gonna create another folder named adapter 2 and I'm gonna cover class adapter uh, this is uh, another variant of using adapter design pattern in uh, programming languages that support multiple inheritance okay let's see what we did in object adapter and uh, do it in class adapter approach I created uh, this sample we have uh, an application let's uh, see what we have we have a console with two uh, buttons uh, one uh, named direct call and the other one uh, adapter call so, uh, here I have a base class named stock information in this class um, I declared a method named get information that accept a string uh, stock code and return some information some basic information about uh, this uh, stock and then I create another class named Advanced Stack Analyzer. This method, uh, this class uh, contains a method named GetDetails and provide uh, extra information about a stock. And this time we need to pass an integer ID for a stock uh, and then get uh, some results, some detailed information about that stock. So I don't want to work with different classes in my client code. The thing uh, that I need to work is a stock information class. So for this purpose, I created uh, another class named a stock adapter. This class inherits from a stock information and override the get information class, uh, uh, get information method. And inside this method, I uh, called uh, first I convert or I cast uh, the string uh, parameter to integer one and then passed it to get details method of uh, advanced stock analyzer instance and then return the result back to the caller uh, um, client code let's see what we have inside the client code so here is the direct call here we create uh, an instance of stock information and save it inside uh, stock information instance and call the get information and here I create an instance of a stock adapter and save it inside a stock information pointer and call target information with the same parameter. So the parameter will be converted into integer uh, equivalent and get result from advanced stock analyzer class. Now let's uh, implement this uh, adapter class uh, using class adapter approach. Well, this time instead of uh, creating another folder for adapter uh, or class adapter approach, I'm going to add uh, another button inside this dialog and call it uh, class adapter. Adapt, adapter. And also change the name to BTN class adapter. And also let's go for click slots here now I'm gonna add another class another adapter class this time I'm gonna say this is uh, for example um, stock class adapter adapter and also let's change the name this is gonna inherit from stock information let's see what no wait. we are not able to add to class here okay I'm gonna add it uh, inside the editor so this is stock class adapter inherit from stock information and also it's gonna inherit from uh, the other class advanced um, stock analyzer class and I'm gonna uh, put a comma here also let's add the header file so we need to information let's 
now let's go to a circuit information and copy this method and paste it here I'm gonna override this method override and also let's implement uh, this class let's copy the codes and paste it here this time we don't need to call get the test from service class because we already inherit from uh, stack uh, advanced stack analyzer so we can directly call the get details method now inside the demo dialog again I can instantiate from a stack class adapter also let's uh, change the information a little bit get details for example I'm gonna multiply by 10 to see the difference between different buttons calls let's run the application okay let's go to adapter 1 and it's direct call as we had it in previous session this is adapter call value D details for a stock number one value 100 and date 2023 and if I press class adapter you can see information change details for uh, a stock 10 because I converted in this way get two uh, letters from the right converted to integer and multiply it by 10 and then call the details from the stock analyzer uh, class so this is the way that we can use uh, class adapter in our application we inherit from both classes target and adaptive class in our adapter classes and then directly we can call uh, the adaptive service method without using or without having uh, to create an instance of adaptive class so i hope you enjoy it and make use of this adapter in your codes till next session and another pattern goodbye